is up everybody watching? I'm Mo Nazro, aka the Mohawk, here with another collaboration between me and Padang Hidden Gems. And today I'm here with Chef Nuril. Yo. How you doing, my friend? Hi, Mo. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you. Uh, you know, I mean, I was really glad that I got to know you a little better before we started. Yep. You know, so I got this pretty cool vibe. That always you know? helps. That yep. definitely yeah. helps, you know. <laughs> and uh, before we start, I have to say I really love your place. You know, I, I love the vibe of your food, the art that you have uh, on you all, and the history that I just read inside your menu. So I, I was hoping to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you've been a fan for a while. You've dropped by yeah. a few times having your family meals. This is meals. actually my third visit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so you're quite familiar with the food. So yeah. what we try to uh, show guests over here is a bit of our Penang heritage cuisine. Oh, yeah. You know, certain dishes which are a bit more unique to the mixed cultures that happen within the island. And it does uh, come off as something quite unique, I guess, for some guests to try something a bit different in Penang. A lot of people think it's generally hawker food, nasi kanda, and things like that, but there's a lot of other kind of like hidden gem, yeah. I guess. Uh, more, <laughs> I, like, I like how you use more, hidden gems in your More, more home-based ingredients, more home-based recipes passed down amongst the ladies from my mom to myself. My mom had no daughters, so, so I was yeah, I, I, I yeah. was the, the one. Of course, I had a background in, in culinary arts and things like that. You see that in the presentation and the play. We try, we try just to elevate a little bit what Malay food is. Most of the time, especially in the north, Kedah, Penang, Malay food is very centralized towards like like more rudimentary style uh, businesses like yeah. warung, yeah. nasi campur and things like that. So I guess it's nice to have one or two restaurants in, in town itself yeah. or flagship restaurants for local Muslim Peranakan food. Actually, I, when I was looking at your menu, you know, I, I love the fact that you had everything from Arab food, Persian, everything from hummus to biryani to sarabai to cheesecakes and yeah. coffee, you know, yeah. so, you know, out of this widespread of, of various types of foods, what would you say would be the three best dishes or your favourite three? My favourite three would basically be the biryani and then the lemuni rice with certain dishes to complement it, the rendang, the fish curry and maybe the laksa. But there's also other things which is like a no brainer like confirm you will enjoy it like the chuchuk udang yeah. you know and some of the sweet treats so that again is like some of a more background of like the cakes and other styles of food so there is a main group of dishes which is very traditional but it's complemented with other more Levant Middle Eastern things Persian influences Northern Indian Arab influences all make its way into Javi Peranakan cuisine with a foundation of kind of Malay Southeast Asian food and heavily influenced by the technique and spices of Northern Indian and Middle Eastern food Right. So things like hummus and everything are not traditionally consumed in or in Malay or Peranakan communities here. Yeah, yeah. But it is significant lah. The influence of, of Arab culture within Penang might not be specific to its food but also to the how we look and the certain families over yeah. here in Penang. So I think it still jives. Yeah. Oh, and cheesecake jives. and other things like that are from my background in training in formal restaurants and things yeah. like that. So it just gives a bit more of a compliment to a cafe feel. Sometimes uh, Malays don't really have a culture of dessert. You know, they have porridge, kueh, but no kind of like prepared dessert. So I think that's what complements the whole thing. Lah. You have some snacks, some rice, breads, and finish up with more European style cake. I love how yeah. you, you almost have like a vision for your culinary work. Like you said, you're trying to elevate this presentation. And before the interview, we even got into the general history of uh, like even the name Javi yeah. Peranakan right we were talking yeah. about everybody thought like it's all just Baba Nyonya you know that aspect as opposed to Peranakan is actually uh, it means mixed heritage right? It means mixed heritage the word Peranakan means an offspring of mixed heritage parents so most often than not there'll be one parent who's a local Malay and a straight settler either a Pakistani or a Chinese a straight settler that marries into a Malay family and then their children adopt Malay language Malay language and assimilate to Malay culture the main the community of Peranakans are generally Chinese Peranakans. Yeah. So again, in this region, you know, there's a lot of overlap yeah. in terms of cultures and food. So it is very easy to assume that everything is Peranakan and yeah. when it's Peranakan, everything seems more Chinese. But yeah. that's not exactly the case. Yeah, because there are many Muslim Peranakans who settle in Penang uh, in the similar time frame and married locals and set up quite prominent families and, and, and businesses over here as well.